Good afternoon, everybody. Ryan Hale from The Hookup and Oak Hill Outdoor. Joining me today is Chris Miller. Thanks for coming, Chris. I appreciate it. We're going to talk on a couple topics here. Hunting seasons are in full go right now. Uh, I've seen several pictures of some really nice bucks that are being harvested with the bows. So good luck out there. Have fun. Be safe. Long tail feather contest. We do have an entry or two over here, so if you shoot a rooster with a nice long tail feather, get it in here and win, win a prize. Ice show, November 27th. Lots of reps, lots of specials going on, so come on down and enjoy the day. It'll, it'll be a fun day. We've got a lot of product in here to offer, so come on down and join us. We'll have food, food drinks, specials, so come on down. We are going to be closed Thanksgiving Day, and then on Black Friday, we'll be open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. with all kinds of specials. So stay local, support your small businesses, and come in here and, and shop. So, Chris, we're going to talk about some bass seasons kind of coming to the end for you here, buddy. Right? Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. So this is, uh, this is where I get all my tackle prep done for the year. Um, definitely with inventory right now, you definitely want to get ahead of the game. And get your stock before next year because stock is really goofy right now. So you don't want to go into next year thinking, oh, I can just stock up because you don't know what you can get and can't get. So a way I stay organized on knowing what I need for the following year is I keep I, I try to keep as much as I can in, in hard cases. So, like, for example, a lot of my tackle prep will consist of, like, here I'll have, like, I got a whole box of twitch tail minnows for drop shotting. So what I'll do is I'll put... All my go-to colors in one case so then that way i can just open this up instead of being on the boat and flipping through 20 bags of plastics and just yeah. getting frustrated yeah. wasting a bunch of time i can come in here and just grab them and i know when i'm getting low i can i can fill them up and replenish yep um kind of so you can keep track of your inventory really easy yep there, yep right? and yep. then i'll keep my plastics at home i usually got a, a pegboard at home whatever i keep them so i can just grab bags and go so i'll know what to buy and what i don't need to buy so Kind of keeps me organized there. Um, also, the way I stay organized too is these Bass Mafia boxes, the coffins, they sell them down here. Um, like these are for deep cranks. You walleye guys would love these too, flicker shads and all that. Um, one of the worst things is when you're when you're diving into your crankbait box, you try to pull out one crankbait and you've got about five of them attached and you can't you can't you can't get them apart. So you're sitting there jiggle, yep. jiggle, jiggle. Well, this Bass Mafia box they came out with. There's individual slots for each one, so you can stay organized, you can stack, I mean, you can stack a ton of them in here, so I love that. That keeps me efficient on the water and a lot of yes. less frustration yep. on the water, so yep. that keeps you lining the water and not messing around on the boat, so and this a lot way, more enjoyable. And this is way safer too, right, Chris? Yeah, instead way safer. Untangling crankbaits. Untangling, crazy. I yep. can just pull on, pull yep. on tight instead of, you yep. know, doing the jangle, so, yep. <laughs> so that works out pretty good there. So yeah, these are, these are really nice boxes. Um, Let's see. The only thing I do want to touch base. I was just on that. Um, the only thing you do not want to put in your hard cases is going to be either your Max Sense or your Berkeley Gold. So these will dry out. Yes. So um, Plato actually makes a box for plastics I use to keep these in the bag so they won't dry out. Um, also, Plano Plano also makes these dry boxes. They got seals on them, so I can keep everything nice and organized. And nothing's getting wet. It's got a seal around the edge here. It's also got a dry wicker. So that helps with tackle prep too. And I do the same thing. So I got my board at home. I just replenish stuff in here. So when I get on the water, I know I have what I have and what I need. Instead of thinking I had something, I get on the boat and realize I didn't have it. Because it happens all the time if you don't if you don't prep correctly. Yeah. And you're keeping water out of there because the water, you know, that's yes. the enemy for all these components. Yeah, yep. definitely your hook boxes. Yep. You, I mean, yep. you can just ruin hundreds of dollars yep. of hooks, no yep. problem. Same with these crankbait boxes, too. I should have touched base on that. There is a seal on this crankbait box as well on that coffin. So, yep. um, same thing with this jerkbait box. Uh, Bass Mafia sells these. You can order these down here at Oak Hill as well. So, it, same thing with jerkbaits. Jerkbaits are pretty hard to store. So, as you can see inside here, I can pull out any given jerkbait, just one at a time. So, boom, done deal. No tangles. No same thing. Out. This has a seal around it. So that'll save you money in the long run, keeps you organized, keeps you fishing. And then, uh, two, you have some line up here, Chris. So I'm guessing you're 
checking line, you know, yeah, so, putting on new line. Correct. And, yep. So as we go into winter, the main thing is, is if you have extra line, everybody's got extra line laying around. As we come into winter, you want to start thinking about storing all your stuff in a heated environment. You don't want to sit here and have your line out in a cold garage that gets down to 20 degrees or leave it in your boat if it's not a heated area. So you, you, otherwise you're going to be spooling on junk line as spring approaches. So you right. want to make sure you're taking care of your line, taking care of your tackle. I keep my tackle in a heated area, so that stays good as well. So, awesome. And also while you're doing that, uh, as far as boat prep, I like to take my batteries out of my boat and keep those on a reconditioned mode to keep your batteries healthy because not worse to come from spring and have bad batteries. Too, so. You're pulling your electronics off too, Chris? Yeah. Let, let's say you're storing it in an old cold garage with no heat. Yep. Bring those electronics in. Yep. Don't let them sit yep. out there because, you know, where you have 20 to 30 blue. Yep. Days, yeah, you know, definitely. It happens. That's bad. I literally yeah. take everything out of my boat. Okay. If it's if it's going somewhere that ain't going to be heated, oh, I'll awesome. take everything: batteries, electronics, tackle, fishing poles. Um, those elements are real hard on stuff. So. Okay. Um, this Saturday we have loose meat sandwiches down here. I don't. I call them taverns. Some people <laughs> call them made rights. <laughs> I don't. Know. What do you call them? Made rights. <laughs> made rights. Okay. <laughs> so this Saturday, that's what we have. And then, Chris, here's what's cool. We got a Awesome people that work here at Oak Hill. Yeah. They do nice things all the time. Right? All the time. Yeah. All the time. So what we <laughs> Always did, going on. my whole goal is to get guys like you and Doug Burns out there on this on this ice, right? Yeah. <laughs> get your gear, get yeah. you an auger. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So You'll drag we, me out there a few yeah. times. But so you... we pooled our money together, and we got you a nice little ice set up here. Oh, <laughs> Wacky warming through the ice. Hey, <laughs> we can make this work, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're great, won't it? <laughs> okay. Oh, that's fun. Yep. Uh, thank you for viewing. I've heard a lot of positive feedback lately from people coming in the store, and they're really enjoying these clips. And we're fortunate to have some really great guests that help. And Pleasure doing it. Yeah. So everyone have a great weekend. Um, like I say, all these in-store events are coming up, so come join us here at Oak Hill Outdoor. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. <laughs>